Homeowners in Amherst, they are fed up with the sight, the smell, and the potential health risks surrounding one house on their street. They tell News 5 they've been bringing their complaints to the city for almost a decade now. And News 5's Catherine Ross explains the neighbors' concerns and what's next for that property. For nearly 60 years, James Todd Hunter has called this Amherst neighborhood home. But he says an eyesore next door is making it increasingly hard to live here. And this hasn't just started. After several years of complaints from neighbors, Todd Hunter himself first went to the mayor and city council back in 2016. Well, believe me, it smells bad in the, in the summertime. The smell, some describe as decay, is just part of the problem. No one has lived in the property for several years. Neighbors say an unkempt yard, broken gutters, trash inside and out, and cats and rodents make the property a nuisance and a public health risk. It is filled up and stuff scattered all over. Where you go in the back door, it's been open for two years. The floor is all rotted out. We will go on to item nine. At the most recent Amherst City Council yeah. meeting. I'm sorry we couldn't bring the smell that comes from this house when the weather starts to get warmer. More than 30 minutes of discussion about ordinance violations and a slideshow of photos of the Jackson Street property. That house is a fire hazard. If it ever catches on fire, I mean, both you guys on each side are you're going to have problems. Lorain County Public Health has fielded complaints filed about garbage, hoarding and air quality. Inspectors sent their findings to the city, but say they don't have jurisdiction. The city says it's issued warnings about long grass and vehicles. Some of those problems were handled, fines were paid, and the owner paid delinquent taxes shortly before a public auction. I mean, this is honestly a, a constantly revolving door uh, dealing with this property and one, one or two others. The city law director says it's up to the courts to declare the property a public nuisance and order it vacated or demolished. Frustrated neighbors tell us the evidence is overwhelming. We're not going to go away this time. And they're fed up. It's a serious situation. Now, I did speak to the property owner. He tells me that he accepts full responsibility for the condition of the house. He also tells me he's already ordered a dumpster and plans to start cleaning things up this weekend. In Amherst, Catherine Ross, News 5.